Smith, the famous wealthy billionaire. Now, each of you will give us your account of what you know and how you are responsible for this story. I would like for all of you to please listen closely so we can all reach the verdict together. Thank you. Would you please come to the stand? Baroness Smith? Baroness Smith. <laughs> Baroness, put your hand on the Bible, please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I will. Have a seat, madam. State your name to the court. My name is Baroness Smith. Yes, Baroness. And what is your relationship to the deceased? I'm the eldest sister of the victim, Thomas Ring. So you are the older sister, I see. And uh, why are you here, Baroness? I'm accusing my sister-in-law, Jessica Smith, my brother's second wife, for his murder. Jessica, would you please stand? Jessica, stay there, please. So you accuse your sister-in-law, Jessica, for the murder of your brother. Correct. Now, why are you accusing her of the murder? She's a whole woman. She got married to my brother for his money and his huge fortune. She managed to turn my brother against my family and me. I see. Is it true, madam, that you hired a detective? Yes, I have got a detective to watch her and she confirmed me that she has a boyfriend, Mr. Black. Oh, Mr. Black. Who is Mr. Black? Will Mr. Black rise, please? Yes, Mr. Black. No, have a seat there. Have a seat. I see. So, you believe that Jessica was responsible for your brother's murder. But what was her motive? Only she had the motive for him to die, to live with her lover with the money and the fortune of my brother. Oh, come on. What job has a 35-year-old woman with an 80-year-old man except for his money? 35 years old, Jessica, and 85 years old, your brother. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Have a seat. <laughs> Wood, Dick Jones, please come to the stand. Put your hand on the Bible, sir. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you, sir. State your name, your name to the court. My name is Dick Jones. Yes, Mr. Jones, and what is your job? I am a detective. You are a detective. And who hired you? Baron Smith hired me two weeks before the murder of your brother, uh, Thomas Smith. Oh, the Baron has hired you. Hmm? Yes. I see. And Jessica Smith. Uh, okay. uh, what did you find out after your investigation? Immediately confused to the baroness, uh, Jessica, uh, oh, the special Jessica Smith had sexual uh, relations with uh, Mr. Black, who had a small company in London uh, called uh, Backfire. Mm, I see. Is, uh, is this Mr. Black married? Uh, he is divorced uh, without children. Uh, no children. Tell the court about the investigation. Uh, this is uh, a very easy job uh, because uh, this uh, couple didn't hide. They didn't hide at all? No. Uh, they were always together. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, I saw him uh, coming in and out uh, of the manor of uh, Mr. Black. I see. Uh, several times. I see. So he was coming in and out of the house all the time. Now, do you have any evidence? Uh, how the photos and videos. I see. You shall give this to the court at the end. Yes. Uh, did Mr. Smith know about the relationship? Uh, Thomas Smith uh, must uh, have uh, known about this relationship. Uh, I saw Black with me the uh, child in the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, Lady Jessica uh, was uh, present and Left uh, with uh, with black. Thomas with uh, was serious and seemed uh, very thoughtful. Poor man, he knew about what was going on. Huh? Thank you very much. You may have a seat. Would Jessica Smith 
Please come to the stand. Do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth shall not die? Yes. Have a seat, my dear. Your name, please. My name is Jessica Smith. I'm the reader of Thomas Smith. Yes. And Jessica, why do you think the Baroness is accusing you of murder? I uh, Baron, I, the Baroness and his ex-wife Rita Cook accused me for the murder of my husband, and just because of the different heavy names. Yes, you're 35 and he was 85 years old. That's a big difference, madam. Anyway, tell us, Jessica, did you love your husband? Yes, I loved and respect him very much. He was a clever and logical man. Yes, but you have a lover, Mr. Black. Yes, I do. I have a lover. Smith knew about this. He was realistic. I am 35 and he was 83. I loved him for his mind, not only for his money. I see. So, did you kill your husband? There is no reason for me to kill him. I was very free. This poor man was really sick. It was a matter of time for him to die. Anyway, why should I dirty my hands this, uh, with his blood and put myself in danger? Who do you think killed him? Others had a reason to kill him. His family, who hated him because he loved me. Everyone hated me because he divorced her for me. Also, his daughter had a reason because he, he was kicked out here of the company and her husband. Also, Todd threatened that he would kill him. Todd threatened to kill him? I see. Thank you very much, Jessica. Thank you for the information. Now, would uh, Mr. Black please come to the stand? And on the back of the do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Thank you. Have a seat, please. Your name, sir? My name is Mr. Black. Yes, Mr. Black, we've heard a lot about you. And what is your occupation? I'm a businessman. I have a company in London, uh, which is called Backfire. Back it isn't going well because of the economic slump. Yes. How long do you know Jessica? Uh, I know Jessica for two years now. And uh, the detective says, you're her lover. Is it true? Yes, I am her lover. I don't hide it. He's a beautiful woman who married with an old man. Yes. Married to an old man. man. Yes, yes. Do you believe that Jessica killed her husband? Uh, I don't believe that. Jessica, uh, she, uh, she, married, she married him. She, she had a reason to. She no had a reason to. Did you kill him? No way. I I was to I was in London for on business. Uh, I have evidence, a ticket and uh, tickets for the hotel in Los Angeles. You shall present these after the trial is over. Now, who had a motive for killing him? Uh, in his family had motives: uh, jealousy and hatred. That's what Jessica said. Why? Baroness accused Jessica because her brother hated her uh, because he didn't accept her wedding uh, to Jessica, uh, her wedding to, his wedding to Jessica. Uh, okay, yeah. that's fine, that's fine. You've given us a lot of information, which of course uh, agrees with uh, Jessica, with what she has told us. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Would uh, Adora Nelson please come to the stand? Madam, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll be God? Yes. Have you seen? Please give us your name. My name is Dora Nelson. Yes, Mrs. Nelson, and what is your occupation? Uh, I was the personal nurse of Mr. Thomas Smith for the last five years. The last three years, his uh, health get wo uh, got worse drastically. They were the years he was with Jessica. Uh, this marriage was bad for him. Yes, I, I would imagine so. Could you please tell us about the night of the murder? Uh, that night, at 9 o'clock, I prepared his bedroom. I 
checked, uh, I checked the uh, room's temperature, uh, I put a glass of water at the nine star, uh, I, I prepared his milk, and I also closed the, uh, the window the of window. the bedroom. So you did close the window that night, huh? Okay, did anyone visit him that night? Nobody came to the second floor. I wasn't good. You weren't. <coughs> You're sure nobody came to the came up to his room. You're sure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and when did you last see him? When I opened the door to give him uh, his medication around uh, ten past um, twenty past ten, I found him on the floor. How did you react when you saw him dead on the floor? I panicked. Uh, he was dead. I was screaming. You screamed, uh-huh. Um, how did Jessica react? Um, how did Jessica react? Everybody came upstairs. Mm -hmm. Jessica asked me if he was dead. I answered, yes, ma'am, he's dead. She answered me, call me. Uh, it's about time with a smile uh, here on her She face. smiled. She had a smile on her face, too, huh? You have a smile on your face. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dora. Thank you for your words. Now, the next person to the stand will be Bill Wellington. A Bill Wellington? <laughs> Sir, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Have a seat. State your name. My name is Bill Wellington. Yes, Mr. Wellington. And what do you do for a living? I'm Kush Corner. Uh, the booth is opposite the Smith Marshall. Uh, your kiosk is exactly opposite the house? Yes. Mm. And uh, what part of the house can you see? Uh, I see the black side of the house. The back side. Tell us, what did you see that night? Uh, that, na that moment, on the 3rd of October at half past 10, I was collecting the mountain clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, at, the, at the moment, I saw a black uh, shadow. I saw someone to drop him down at the second floor of the night. So, did you understand that? This man here, who has a kiosk exactly opposite the house, saw a man climbing down the back side of the house. And um, what did you do? Uh, that moment, it, uh, there wasn't anyone in the street. Uh, it was a cold night. Uh, I yelled, uh, who are you? What are, uh, what are you doing there? I will call the police. Mm -hmm. And what did this man or woman do when you said, hey, I'm, I'm going to call the police? He got scared, uh, and at uh, the moment he stopped uh, asking look for something. Something fell from his pocket or his hands, and he was looking for something. Hey. Uh, and when I yelled, he disappeared. He disappeared. Could you describe what this man was like? Uh, the figure uh, is dressed in black, uh, thin and tall. And uh, did you call the police? I would call the police at home. You called the police at home. This person knew the house very well, right? Yes, because he uh, climbed down at the second floor of the mushroom very easily. Very easily. Yes. So, we thank you. Thank you very much. Would Officer Rogers please come to the stand? <laughs> Officer, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes. Thank you, sir. Madam, excuse me. Madam, tell us your full name. Hey, my name is Katerina Rogers. Okay. And uh, Officer, tell us what happened that night. At uh, half past ten, the key was over calling, telling us that he saw this man coming down from the second floor uh, in the, on the street mushroom. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. Wellington told us that, yes. Uh-huh. And uh, how did the family react? 
There was panic in the house. This was me who was in and quiet. Well, she, was, she was very quiet, huh? Okay, uh, where did you find the victim? I found the, uh, the victim uh, on, the, in, on the floor uh, in, the, in, on the floor. Oh, in the room on the floor uh, with the uh, medicine. Uh, and the window was open, but the nurse said uh, she closed at, it at nine. Yes. Uh, when she gave uh, a medicine, uh, him his milk and medicine. Yes, the, the nurse told us that she did shut the window, and you found the window open. <coughs> uh, did you find any fingerprints? No, I did. Uh, the murderers were uh, close. Uh, there is no fit between Smith and, uh, Smith and murderers. No fight. There was no fight between them. Yes. Uh, there, um, there must know uh, each, one. each other. They must have known each other very well then. So, ladies and gentlemen of the court, as you've heard, this person, this the murderer, must have known, and Mr. Smith must have known the murderer very well, because there was no fight at all. Thank you, officer. Thank you very much. Would Naomi Jackson please come to the stand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you go. Yes. Thank you, madam. Please state your name. My name is Naomi Jackson. Yes, Mrs. Jackson. And uh, what is your relationship to the Smiths? I was a guest to at the night of the crime. Uh, it didn't the fun that night. Ah, so you were, at, at the night of the crime, you were at their house, at the Smith house. Did you see anything strange or suspicious? Uh, I noticed something strange. Uh, when I came downstairs of Mr. Thomas Smith's uh, bedroom, um, uh, oh, Jessica, uh, Jessica uh, called to someone. Um, Although he, she was bad, she smiled and said, yes, he's finally dead. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, I see. Uh, let me ask you something. Did she leave your company at all? Did she go upstairs at any time? Uh, yes, absolutely, but she didn't leave us at all. Not at all. Not at all. You're sure? Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Jessica did not leave the company, her guest that night, at all. And this was said by Naomi Jackson. This must be recorded. Now, would uh, Craig Washington please come to the stand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes. Thank you, sir. Please have a seat. State your name. I'm Greg Washington. And what is your job, sir? I'm the butler of the house. You are the butler of the house. Yes. I have been working here for seven years. I see, sir. And tell us about this household. This is a crazy house with a lot of cattle. Lots of hatred, I, I would gather. What about his children? His daughter visited him only when Jessica was away. Uh, the truth is that the old man didn't like his daughter at all. Yes, so we've I gathered this, huh? Yes. And what about his son? Uh, I, heard him, I heard him saying that they only uh, loved their mother. And Todd was a greedy, selfish bastard. Uh, that's what Mr. Smith said. He called Todd Samuels a bastard. And he said that the two, that he, these two loved only the mother, his ex-wife. What about his son? What did he feel about his son? Uh, lastly, he told to himself about his son. He told me one day before he died that he um, was the only person who didn't see him as a pocket of money. And he drove him away. I see. The only person for his person in his family. So he was very fond of his son. What about Jessica? What did he say about Jessica? Jessica was like a visitor for 
uh, was like a visitor in her own home. She showed her husband for five minutes a day, not more. <laughs> okay, but uh, in actuality, who did he hate most? Who did Smith hate I most? I believe he hated Top Thomas, his son in law. Smith called him the large snake who, wait, who was waiting for him to die to inherit his fortune. But Smith had a surprise. He had a surprise for him. Yes, I have a surprise as well. Okay, thank you, sir. You may have a seat. The court would like Clara Stewart to come to the stand, please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and I'll be God? Yes, sir. Your name, please, madam. My name is Clara Stewart. I, I, I am the maid of the Smith house. Yes. And tell the court about the Smith family. It was a lovely family. It became, the, uh, became Jessica appeared with Mr. Smith. Ah, it was lovely until Jessica appeared. Okay. What changed after Jessica's arrival to the family? I hear Suzanne uh, speak, uh, speaking on the mobile phone with somebody uh, um, uh, talk of a week. Uh, you heard her, you heard Suzanne talking on the phone about a will, about a will. What did you hear her say on the phone? She was crazy, uh, she was in hysteria, swore than I will, um, uh, they, uh, they want, uh, I will kill in the morning. One day. Uh, how did she react when she was on the phone? So, the maid of the house heard Suzanne, his daughter, say that one day she would kill him, and she also heard her talk about a will. I thank you very much. I don't know.